dual impairment. The Paralympic champion Samuel Kamani of Kenya is in this, but two other Kenyan athletes are not Sang and Bai. And you'll have noted the two Kenyan athletes, due to be in the 1500 final earlier, were not either. There appears to be an issue with some Kenyan athletes, but the Paralympic champion is here. Christian Valenzuela, the reigning world champion from Chile, and his guides Francisco Munoz and Raul Moya, twice Paralympic champion also for Portugal. Nuno Alves with his guide Jose Ferreira, gold in the 5,000 metres of the Europeans in 2014. Manuel Garnica of Spain, he hasn't finished the last two World Championship finals over this distance. Samuel Kamani is here for Kenya, the Paralympic champion over 1,505. Then for Japan, Shinya Wada. Gold in the 8th, the 15th and the 5th at the Asian Games in Incheon three years ago. Darwin Castro of Ecuador, 7th in the 5,000 metres in Rio. Hassan Hussein Kassar of Turkey, the reigning European champion from Grosseto last year. And on the inside, Masahiro Kanaguchi of Japan, his guide Shogo Matsugaki, never medalled in a major championship. So Bai and Sang both out. That's four Kenyans in two finals we don't have, but we do have Samuel Kamani. Eight go to the line in this final. The men's 5,000 metres, T11 final, complete visual impairment. Kanaguchi, Casa, Castro, Wada, Kamani, Garnica, Alves and Valenzuela. Four men are reigning champions in this. Casa of Turkey is the European champion, Wada of Japan, the Asian champion, Kamani of Kenya, the Paralympic champion, and Venezuela of Chile, the world champion, having taken this crown in this stadium at London 2012 and looking to shoot out right at the start. And going wide out is the Kenyan Samuel Kimani. 12 laps to go in this 5,000 metres final. Different tactics will be employed right across the field, Vanessa Lowe. It's amazing to see this Kenyan double run. They have such a smooth stride. It looks just like they are one person, pretty much. Valenzuela on the inside. Mani now moving up into second place. Alves, you'll see, tucked in at the back, but with a full lap gone in this, 400 metres. Very little for anybody to worry about. A little bit of a gap. So in the men's shot put F20 just to bring you up to date on that. All of the first round throws were retaken except for Zog Kefli who set a world record with his first throw.
I can tell you that Hodgson's first, last two throws, I should say, at 15.35 and 15.94. So, the question now, has he improved on that with his first throw that's been retaken? Clearly knows he hasn't overtaken the Malaysian so Kefli's world record, which he set legally. What a bizarre competition, this. If truth be told. But we'll get to the end of it. Yeah, Todd Hodges has certainly kept his cool. Well, 15.72 was his first one retaken, 15.94 for Todd Hodgetts in third position. Nine laps to go in this men's 5,000 metres T11 final. It's still Christian Valenzuela who leads for Chile. The Kenyan Samuel Kamani, the double Paralympic champion for Rio for 1,500 metres and 5,000. Tucked in very nicely behind him in second place. Very good athlete alongside him as his guide in James Boyd. Kamani is a great admirer of the great Deva Rudisha, the 800 meters world record holder and that world record set in this stadium. Third place for Japan. Wada with Minau alongside the Asian Games champion. Three goals at those Asian Games for Valenzuela, Kamani, Wada. If we cast our minds back to Valenzuela in the 2015 championships, it was a very hot, very humid Doha Stadium. Valenzuela at one point was struggling a little bit further back, but he got, got caught back into the field. But the man who was leading the Brazilian, Odez Santos, was leading most of the way. He had a huge lead at one point, but the, the heat really got to him. And then with a couple of laps to go, he really started to falter. The, Lactic acid kicked in, the heat really got to him, he was losing fluid and his muscles and body just gave way and in the end he finished in fourth position and was disqualified for going off the track but it was one of those evenings when you were there where you just felt the athletes because it was so hot and running 12 and a half laps in the T11 category when you've got your guy with you as well trying to drag you along as it was that night then it's very difficult for the, the guy to be able to speak to the athlete and get them moving along but the Valenzuela He's in first position at the moment, and he's doing it very, very well indeed. They've reached the 2,000 metre mark. F-52 discus from Mexico, Leticia Ochoa Delgado. Her third attempt, 10.88 her best so far, has her in third place. That's beyond 10. Soya obviously of Ukraine having a lead taken by the United States, Rachel Morrison, who eked into third place with the final throw of the club last night. Knocked your butterfield down to fourth. Delgado, 11.09, that's her best of the three throws. She's third. Back to the track we go. And there's been a change of lead. Valenzuela is no longer in front. It's the Kenyan, Samuel Mushe Kamani, and his guy, James Boyd, who leads. And Valenzuela's got a little bit wide with his guide at the moment. He's moved out. He's changed guides, as they're allowed to do in this. So halfway through, the guide has changed. That is allowed in the rules, and that was why Valenzuela has moved out wide to change over. So that's happened. No damage done, no one run off the track, and we continue as is. But out in front at the moment, it is Kenya's Kamani, who's moved out to a about a 10 or 12 metre lead. Japanese athlete Wada is in second position, and here comes Valenzuela with his new guy, he's making up a bit of ground and he's getting right back up there to try and get back into the lead and take it back from Kamani. Six laps to go, Kamani leading the way for Kenya. Valenzuela, one of the few who's elected to go with two guys. Raul Moya is the man with the red hair who's come in. It's 5,000 metres on, you can go with the second guy if you want, but 
It just means you go beyond 5,000 meters. Maybe 5,054 meters in second place at the moment. Water still going very well in third place for Japan. Quite a gap back, decent gap back. Castro trying to make a little bit of movement, but Kamani still heading the front. Five and a half laps to go with Valenzuela just behind. First attempt for Maria Samatula in the women's shot put F32. The bronze medalist back in the Beijing Paralympics back in 2008. Silver medalist at last year's European Championships. Lifetime best of 6.61, season best of 5.47. Hasn't quite reached that, 5.22. But being first up, puts her in first position. And here is Abrami, who her second throw, 5.30 for the reigning Paralympic and world champion. But that's up near the six meter mark. Wide over it. Season best of 6.12. Lifetime best of 6.25. At 5.86. 56 centimetres further. She is in first position. Four and a half laps to go in this men's 5,000 metres T11 final. Complete visual impairment. And it's the reigning Paralympic champion Samuel Kamani who leads with the world champion Valenzuela in second place. The Asian Games champion. Wada is in third. A little bit of a step back to fourth, but it's quite tight between them all at the moment. It's Castro in fourth for Ecuador. Alongside his guy, Sebastian Rosero, he lives with his guy's family. Felt his life immediately improved when they met, based in Quito. Heading for four laps to go. Kamani still out in front. Valenzuela, Wada, Castro. It's still quite tight between them all around 25 metres. Nobody, Vanessa, has yet decided to make a significant move. Yeah, it's sometimes really interesting to see how they, they, they do their tactics. You really only figure out how the race is going to go in the last couple of rounds when you see how much they have in store, how much energy they already um, have used and how many energy they have left. Well, Kamani still leads out in front. You can't miss Christian Venezuela now because his guide has got pink hair. So that makes it much simpler to spot where the Chilean athlete is. And they're starting to stretch out the two in front, Kamani and Valenzuela. It's Raul Moya, the guide who took over at the halfway mark. And Valenzuela and Kamani out in front. The rest are starting to drop back somewhat wider in third position as we come down for three laps remaining in this men's T11 5,000 meter race and it appears at this stage that it might be a race in two. Kamani, Valenzuela, Wada and Castro and the gaps are increasing between the top four and it's quarter of a lap back to fifth place it's a considerable gap all the way back Kamani with a significant advantage of around 15 meters and it's funny it's only about a lap and a half ago saying nobody had made a significant move well now they have and it's Kamani who's done it he's strung the rest out Valenzuela the reigning world champion from the extreme heat of Doha two years ago where they couldn't do very many morning sessions it was knocking around 40 Celsius not sure how much that would have affected Kamani but he's way out in front ahead of Valenzuela at the moment with Wada a further 25 meters back in third so it's the Paralympic champion leading the world champion leading the Asian Games champion and the European champion I make his way back in fifth around 150 meters behind this man our leader Samuel Kamani looking very very strong very good ahead of Valenzuela with two laps to go and I can tell you with two laps to go if they're going to break the championship record he's going to have to run Kamani sub 60s on these last two laps and pick up the pace because at the moment the man who fell away in Doha two years ago Adair Santos has that championship record 
from Christchurch back in 2011. The world record goes all the way back to 2004. Henry Waioki of Kenya, that was set at the 2004 Paralympics in Greece. And Kamani is now out to around about a 20 metre lead in front. Valenzuela, he's trying valiantly with his guy Raul Moya to make up the ground. And Wada in third position, the Japanese athlete with Kataro Minawa. But at this stage, it looks like it's a race that only Kamani, the Kenyan, can lose as he comes round with around 500 metres or so. But what a race it is for the Kenyan. He's judging it ever so well. Valenzuela went out in front to start with. Kamani, though, he's in the lead and control at the moment as he comes down to take the bell. There's a one lap remaining in this men's 5,000 metres, T11, and Will Downey will take you home. It's Kamani who won the 1500 metres title in this stadium at London 2012. He takes the bell in front in the 5,000 metres with Valenzuela in second place, Wada in third. The gap's still around 25 metres between the top three and then 40 metres way back, way, way back to Darwin Castro. This is the advantage that Kamani holds at the moment over Valenzuela. It's growing all the time. He's accelerating in the last lap, speeding up in the back straight. Samuel Kamani and his guy, James Boyd, the Paralympic champion, looks like he's going to turn over Christian Valenzuela, who didn't start the 5,000 metres final in Rio, the world champion, disqualified in the 15, picked up an injury in that, and couldn't take to the line in this equivalent race at the Paralympic Games last year. And in his absence, Kamani took full advantage. It was a big middle distance double there. Kamani on the way to gold. He'll be world champion again in London. Kamani takes the 5,000 metres. 15 minutes, 41.55. And the moon is in. He wants to keep running. Valenzuela will get the silver for Chile. And the bronze for Japan, for the Asian champion, Shinya Wada. Good quality race of a different kind to what we saw in the 1500 metres. Castro is in fourth place for Ecuador, but Samuel Kamani, very good, well-run race ahead of the Chilean Christian Valenzuela in second place. And he's really showing the rigours of that with Wada in third. Good race, Vanessa. That was a good race. Um, I can only imagine how tired the legs must feel right now. The farthest I ever run is probably 150 meters in training. Um, they just did uh, about 20 times, 50 times. I don't even know how many times the distance I'm usually doing. Well, Kenya, we know how well they are in the IAAF circuit as well when it comes to long distance running or middle distance running, in fact. Anything it may be, but Kamani, he took control early enough in that race from Christian Valenzuela. Around the time Valenzuela struck his guide, it was the time Kamani struck. He moved out to a commanding lead. He made it bigger and bigger as both Kamani and James Boyd move around with the Kenyan flag. There is confirmation of the result. Samuel Mushai, Kamani, 15, 41.54. Christian.